Hi everyone, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for June 6th through June 12th, 2016. I felt guided to use the Angel Tarot. I have a bunch of crystals set out. A lot of them have to do with filtering out any negativity. So we have Shungite, we have an EMF filter, we have black tourmaline, and then I also have amethyst for psychic awareness and psychic divination, uh, fluorite, tower, I have pyrite for abundance, and finances, I have rose quartz for love, and selenite to clear the energies, clear the atmosphere, and to promote healthy conversations. I call on my guides and your guides and all beings of light to help me with this reading and that everyone watching this gets a clear and accurate message for them. I'm going to go ahead and pull three cards for this week and what we most need to know. The first card is Seven of Earth. Seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry. So the angels are really trying to tell us to not worry. It's not going to get us anywhere. That it takes time to see changes. It takes time to see growth and success and to not put too much energy into the worry or the negativity because it's going to keep causing, a, like the card says, a temporary pause that is not needed. So be focusing on areas that you have been worrying about or feeling like there's no change and really give it more time to flourish and know that your answers will come in time and your wisdom will start growing with patience. Four of Earth. Being too ferocious or too cautious with money, good business decisions, giving to those less fortunate. So again, it's letting you know that you have plenty of abundance, plenty of prosperity, it's just the way you look at it. And it might need a little bit of adjustment. You might need to save more and spend less. But it's letting you know that if you do have any extra, don't be holding on to it too tightly where it doesn't cause that flow of abundance to come back to you. So they want you to, if possible, give to the less fortunate. This doesn't have to be with actual money. It could be with things that you're not using. It can be giving some time to someone that really needs someone to talk to and that, you know, won't judge them. So be, it can come in many forms, but we see two earth cards here. So what it's telling me is that we really need to be in the moment when we're worrying and we're being too... I'm trying to find the right word. When we're being too restrictive with our finances or we are holding on too tight to possessions or materialistic things that is causing us this block inside of us that is really going to cause way too much stress on our bodies and this is also in the physical aspect so just be aware of how you can promote your physical well-being this week the hermit archangel Rezio. spend time in quiet meditation spiritual teaching self-discovery so again this is talking about starting with within and really taking inventory of how your energy is being spent 
it kind of ties into last week about checking in with yourself and seeing where your energy is going, seeing if it's a healthy place or a helpful place. Again, it's coming back and remembering that lesson from last week and seeing how many different aspects of your life you can implement it. And this week, they want you to focus on the physical. So this could be your finances, your family, your friends, your your time, and your your physical body. But it's also having a message about organization and also release work because we see in meditation that we let those thoughts pass through us and we're not causing so much again restriction or causing so much uh, anxious energy to flow out of us and keep us stuck if that makes sense so I do hope this makes sense and I'm wishing everyone a great week and if you have any comments or questions leave them down below and I will have all my links in the description box for my Facebook if you want many daily insights with tarot cards or oracle cards. So again, many blessings and have a great day.